Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today it's a very short video on just um, how to convert a picture or image into 600 dpi um, rather than 300. I know a lot of people um, struggle with this. Um, I have seen a lot of videos online. Um, they were really quite useful, but um, I, it did not work for me. Anyway, I will link those videos below if anyone finds them helpful or interesting. Uh, one among them told that there is a specific software that can help uh, minimizing the or maximizing the dpi so for example let me show you a properties of this picture um, so if you go to details the dimensions and pixels are a lot of pixels but then the dpi is 20, 220 um, why we need the DPI apart from a lot of reasons sometimes for uh, for example for researchers or students when you want to submit any kind of paper um, they specifically want 300 or 600 DPI uh, so I recently came across such kind of submission guideline where they wanted the black and white picture as 600 DPI so let me check this one's properties uh, this is 672 again, but the pixels are way larger because it's a very good resolution image. But again, the DPI, when you go to the properties, it's not working. Uh, let me show you on Photoshop. Uh, usually in Photoshop, there are many settings to uh, minimize or maximize the images where it's from the image size. Uh, if you can see here, uh, so DPI is actually uh, distance per pixel or dimension per pixel so it's per inch usually uh, in Photoshop there are many settings for DPI there is PPI there is DPI but again if you see here there is no 600 I struggle with this a lot but it's very 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 easy so this is already 300 and let's say uh, your publication or anywhere in the guideline they want 600 just write this 600 pixel per inch now again um, if you want to um, include this to any kind of paper or a microsoft word or powerpoint where you think that this dimension or pixels becoming very large um, let's make this in inches and you you think that this is too large um, to you know accommodate in a word file just reduce this to maybe uh, usually in a microsoft word we keep like a seven inch height or six inch height is way more than enough so let's just say okay seven and it's going to be proportionate so your size is okay okay the size is reduced but then again the dpi stays 600 um so what happens if i increase this so again the pixel gets uh, larger so i will just keep it this because sometimes it's harder to process so okay and i will save it let's say so if i come back here this was the image i have done that so i will go back to the properties details done this is a 600 dpi image it's that easy just change again the just change from here image to image size just don't do anything just keep this original size you can make, minimize or maximize this depending on your picture and make it 600 again let's just say another another uh, let's say this one's property said 72 dpi I will bring that to my Photoshop. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to image size. Again, if you can see, this is way large. Okay, for any kind of document like Word or Temp or PowerPoint. So I'm just going to make that 8. And I'm going to make it 600 dpi. You can also do a 300 if you wish to. It's it, it's going to work the same way. Let's say this is 300. I will say okay. And let's...
let's uh, I did not save that um, I'm sorry um, I did not save so I will just save it I, I, this doesn't matter you can make it high or you can make it medium doesn't matter um, let's say I said high okay and um, I will go back here and I will check the properties Oops. I will check the properties details 300 dpi so this is going to give you a perfect dpi each time that's simple uh, i hope this was uh, helpful for you it's a short video but i hope i bring more uh, videos helping you guys and see you later bye